From the inner sense of time Comes the ancient poet's rhyme Bringing us the master key To open up the mystery From the depth of time and space We arrive in quiet grace Finding what is meant to be As we explore the mystery Pouring forth from days gone by We can hear the poet sigh From the depth of ecstasy Moving into mystery Hello and welcome again to Creative Connections. I'm your host, Gary Blanchard, and today my guest is musician Bill Cole. Nice Bill, welcome. Thank you, Gary. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. So you were telling me that this building that we're filming in has some special connection for you. It does. As I walked up, I remembered this was the building when it was a cafe, I guess, that hosted an open mic. I think it was my very first. What was that? Maybe a dozen years ago or so. Maybe a little more, but uh, no, it was good. And uh, now there's uh, there's open mics and places to play and jam uh, all over the place again. Keeps you uh, going out to the uh, breweries late at night. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's funny because uh, I'm of the age where the the coffee houses were the places for music, and now most coffee houses are kind of like morning stop and get your coffee on your way to work places. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the breweries have stepped in. Right. They benefited as of the wineries and a few other kinds of businesses during the pandemic. You know, when things were closed down, they managed to be okay with outside seating. And uh, so they didn't do quite as bad. And some of them had, had record uh, record years and took off during that period. So yeah. a, little, a little silver lining there, I guess. Yeah. So how did you get started with music? Well, um, if you really mean started, I guess it would be way back when uh, I'd listen to my parents play the phonograph or something when I was <laughs> little, and then uh, my father played a little banjo when I was uh, toward high school. I was in some, uh, you know, church and elementary school choruses and choir, and I had a year of piano, which was valuable. Um, but then I set it all aside and uh, got more into more serious things as I thought of it then and <laughs> and stayed on that track that narrower and narrower track until I was uh, 40 years old at which time I uh, uh, got a guitar and uh, decided to try to uh, see whether there was something uh, in that for me to enjoy and, and there has been. That's great so who kind of inspired you or influenced you to to pick up guitar and play? Well, I mean, there's a lot of different music I liked, but what really made me decide to get a guitar, this very guitar actually, um, for um, and and learn to play it was actually a local influence, a friend that many of us know, many of you know, called uh, Dave Wright, and Dave Wright had a bluegrass jam and then a bluegrass party every year until the last couple of years, and um, I sat in with him, and what they played was bluegrass music which is appealing for a beginner because it's uh, predictable in its choruses and yeah, verses yeah. and, you know, uh, pretty you, simple. And you don't have to know too many chords. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So, uh, so I did that, started playing with them, and then over time it turned, it turned into sort of a theme for my <clears throat> recreation and, and fun and friendships. Okay, yeah. So uh, I, I know you're fairly regular at the uh, Lost Towns open mic. That's true. Uh, what are some other open mics that you go to fairly often? Well, I'm glad that one's close because all the rest of them seem to be half hour or more like everything else from us here, right? <laughs> right. But, uh, um, I was, well, there's, um, again, breweries, so there's Oakcomb, there's Timberyard, 
both have one. The cafe in Barry now has one. Um, I've been up to Brattleboro in a few few times for a, if it's a nice day for a, a ride. Um, out to uh, Northampton has some again. Ludlow has has a couple. Springfield has a couple. Okay. You know they're they're all around. Of course, yeah. of course, it, you know you go and have some fun and have to drive most of an hour back. You got to. <laughs> yeah, about. yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm at that age where. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't hang out like yeah. I used to. Well, I know I know what you mean. There's been a few times recently that I'm like, well, tonight I'm going to do this and that, but around about six o'clock, I'm like, well, maybe not. <laughs> so play play some some music for us, and I think you kind of just want to do some little snippets of some of your favorite stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, you you asked about different influences and maybe styles and things um, and what I like and get out of music um, and I, I feel like maybe I could convey some of that without playing whole songs I mean, yeah. I could do the whole songs but there's different things for some of them so maybe I'll just tease you with a, a chorus and a verse on a, on a few yeah. different ones and, and that will get people to want to come out more to actually hear you maybe at an open mic <laughs> we'll see we'll see and you, like I was telling you, I saw your sign up. So, uh, um, a licensed, certified, licensed alcohol and drug counselor. Alcohol and drug counselor. Uh, so mostly should. retired. At this point, right. Thankfully. But I saw the sign, <laughs> and uh, so that made me. This is a lot of songs with addiction in them, right? But yeah. <laughs> I also had three three grandchildren. The third just a week or two ago. So. All right. Congratulations. I thought they'd call me granddaddy, but they don't. Mm-hmm. I'll pop out of them. Granddaddy smoked and had a taste for booze. Next thing you know, granddaddy son did too. And when that boy had children of his own, addiction was the only seed he'd sown. Pass it down. Pass it down We all leave more than a headstone in the ground Pass it on In the end Will you leave them all your love or all your sin? You can make it right or wrong Pass it on And then obviously a couple more verses That's... Yeah I, I like I like songs that say something or something that I can um, um, convey or mean something to me too. So yeah, um, who who, like that. who who did that song originally? Uh, you know, I couldn't tell you who wrote it. I know it from uh, um, the Grascals, the Bluegrass National Band that had okay. done it um, quite a few years ago. But, okay, uh, they yeah. picked it up from somewhere else. It deserves a credit. I I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Yeah, no, that's that's. But you know, it's, it's interesting because, uh, you know, that is something that people pass on. That is, isn't it? You know, uh, so that's a, a pretty neat song. And um, influences, so uh, songwriters and performers. Uh, one of my favorites is John Prine, who, as you know, died a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but one of them on his very last album was um, something that later his his wife, maybe he had said earlier that it was something that he um, he wrote for, a, for an OD victim that he knew, his family knew. Summer's ends 
around the bend is flying Swimming suits are on the line just drying I'll meet you there for our conversation Hope I didn't ruin your whole vacation You never know how are you feeling Until you wash The shadows cross the ceiling And I don't know But I can see it snowing And in your car The windows are wide open Come on home Come on home You don't have Summer's End, right, from his last album. Okay. So, uh, how did you learn guitar? Well, you see I'm not using a pick, and the reason yeah. that is is because, <clears throat> um, and I should learn it, but I, I just sat around playing quietly, you know, and reading stuff out of whatever, sing out, and you know, those <laughs> kind of things. And, um, Listened to a few things and tried to pick up some simple songs I could handle and just playing quietly and just, you know, kind of picker, finger picking. Um, so that's gotten fortunately better over, over the years, but um, I can use a pick and project better, which is important with a, with a band or, right. you know, in a, in a circle of loud players or something. But um, generally I just sit around and pick like this and so... Yeah, I haven't had formal formal lessons really. So. Yeah, uh, you know, because I was I was noticing, you know, your your picking style. I'm I'm, I'm self taught, and my problem is that my teacher was an idiot. <laughs> so I kind of learned two finger picking, and not three finger picking. Uh, and now I'm wishing I had <laughs> had done that. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, uh, very. Just spend this, which means that rather than, which is one one reason I've liked some of the open mics, most of them, they will plug you in, amp you up, and give you a, a vocal mic, and that really helps me be heard. Yeah, um, yeah. So I like that. One one thing I've always appreciated about your style is that it is so laid back and just kind of natural, which you know, uh, in this day and age of singers who belt stuff out and bang on guitars, uh, I find very refreshing. That's good, thank you. Um, I agree, it's uh, just how it is and it, it, it's got its fit in some ways. So, And often, you know, playing this way helps lyrics be heard and understood and, yeah. and conveyed and I, 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 like I said, I appreciate that. So try to do that but I started playing a lot of things almost everything with minor chords and really slow and kind of sad and every now and then somebody reminds me that it's not all that way and I should do something <laughs> a little <clears throat> a something a little more upbeat which still can be in, in a theme one of my themes that comes up a lot is aging right okay I got a few about that but one of them refuses to be uh, low-key, and that's like this, this. This is a uh, Delbert McClinton song, or part of it. around a long time Long enough to know that age is just a state of mind Some things just get better like fine wine I ain't old But I've been around a long time I've seen them come and go and come back around again But some of life's hard lessons are finally starting to sink in 
If you don't do nothing, you're gonna live to regret. Well, you won't have to live what you can't forget. I ain't old, but I've been around a long time. Oh, keep your expectations under control. And you just might surprise yourself to see how far you go. Don't hold too tight, let it all unwind. Keep a positive state of mind, I ain't old. But I've been around a long time. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's funny how songs about aging change in meaning. <laughs> uh, you know, as we get older. That's so true. So true. So you you uh, were telling me that you don't really do too, very much writing. That's fact. I don't. I think I've written three songs and I lost two of them. <laughs> There's only one I know, and, and that, you asked how I learned or something, and I did a few times go to uh, uh, WUMB's summer music camp in New Hampshire, <clears throat> a great place with a lot, of, a lot of students having fun and a lot of teachers being with them all the time, um, and, you know, concerts and so forth, so, you know, you get used to a lot of that, but in there, I, I said, well, I'll take a songwriting class. And, and I, I sort of tried to do that, and I remembered telling some of my bluegrass friends. I said, "Well, your songs are so they're so simple." Like I said a minute ago, yeah. You know, they've got you know a couple of uh, a couple of verses and then a chorus, and you're verse and a chorus, and you got to have a train in there, and you know something about going home and a girl or something <laughs> like that. It's that easy. They said, "Well, write one." So I, I tried to, and this is the one that survived. bluegrass influence. Mm. Mm. Uh, the only thing that was missing is that the, the girl didn't die. No, she didn't die. <laughs> There's a happy ending to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which they don't all have, but... Mm -hmm. So, uh, you you do a lot of uh, going to oh, kind of like open jams and <clears throat> things like that. Yeah, more like uh, kitchens and um, campfires or fire pits or something, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know? what, yeah, that's fun. And, and that's one of the best things I enjoy, which is that different people will play. Um, they'll have their own songs that you might or might not know, and they'll kind of guide you along if you don't. And then people can harmonize, and uh, they can offer instrumental breaks. Mm -hmm. Some of them can, <laughs> or, uh, yeah. you know, during... Uh, during the song, so and that leads to a lot of great synergies and, and fun. You know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's uh, definitely an energy you get from playing with other musicians mm -hmm. that I don't think I've ever gotten any other way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know that I think is one of the things that uh, particularly drew me. Uh, to the Lost Towns mm -hmm. open mic. Yeah. When uh, Malachi Joe was, yep. was leading it, yep. uh, he was very big in in getting people into to jamming. Right. And AJ and Dave do as well. Yes. Uh, you know, and I've been very lucky and happy to have them sit in mm -hmm. 
on, on songs. And you, it, it's just such a nice feeling to hear what other people add to what you're doing. It is. And, and whatever song you're trying to do or have in mind, it's like, it's, it's just uplifted if a, if a good player is there, you know, with the bass coming up under it or there's some percussion and, or somebody throws in some great fiddle or, you know, uh, yeah. you know whatever. Some, sometimes, even if it's just like the people in the audience singing along. Yes. Yes. It, it, it just adds so much. That is so. Yeah. So. So do you have another? Another part of a song? Yeah. Well, let's see. I've got uh, on my wireless <laughs> memory device, <laughs> I, have a, I have a Greg Brown song. I have a, uh, another Gibson, or Gibson Brothers song. Those are both about aging. I've got a story song from the Gibson Brothers. I've got um, um, sometimes sometimes you'll see one on television or something that mm -hmm. that uh, um, you know in a movie a soundtrack kind of thing and you think wow I, I knew that song way back and liked it or something so uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try this for you. All right, it counts as sad. This is one of those uh, love songs of the unrequited variety. Which I'll bet you know, 1970, I'll bet you. It was kind of a hit then for Linda Ronstadt, but went into some relative obscurity until it was on a TV show recently. <laughs> You're right. You know that is one that uh, was very big, and then you, you, it's yep. not one of hers that you hear often, right? Anymore, right? And I thought when I first started playing again, at some <laughs> some point I remembered that song. I thought, well, I wonder if that's one I could do. But it actually, uh, I decided at the time in that era that it was uh, it was a woman's song. I wasn't going to learn it. But <laughs> heck with that, right? <clears throat> yeah. You know, it's it's funny how you know we we did have these ideas of what was a song, a woman song. And John Prine. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, is you know very well known for you know like uh, Angel, from, uh, Angel Montgomery. from Montgomery. Yeah. Uh, he had no problems standing there singing, "I am an old woman." Right. Take after my mother. That's right. Absolutely. It's almost like he knew that that uh, Bonnie Ray had taken over, but. Um, but you're right about that. He did. He did sing it that way. I timidly changed the uh, changed the gender when I started doing that song. But how about Greg Brown? You like Greg Brown? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do <coughs> a verse and a chorus, and I'll do. I'll jump ahead to the old. I'll be gone like James Dean Now we don't say that it's too late to die young So we sit at the table long After dinner with a good wine Here's what we say hey, 
Four other verses. <clears throat> yeah. You know, uh, one thing, too, I, I like about when I hear you perform is that you draw from some of the lesser known sources. Yeah. Um, that serves me because nobody knows how the songs are really supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> Generally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one thing I found about doing original music. If I screw up the words, nobody yeah, knows but yeah, me. That's right. That's <laughs> so uh, what? what is it? How, how do you stumble across these people, first of all? Hmm. Well, um, like I said, sometimes you see it in some modern media. And, uh, you know, Maybe you'll hear someone play something, um, and maybe uh, it'll be at a soundtrack. Um, often it's like at a music festival or something where you're... And what was that one called? Write it down and go back and look at it. And nowadays, of course, if you want to hear something, hear what the lyrics were, <laughs> um, see how to play it, have a lesson on how to play it, all of that's just right there on a YouTube, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. We are. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's really amazing, uh, you know, how, like any song I want to hear, pretty much, if I know even part of the words. Yep. I can kind of track it down and, and right. find it and then figure out the lyrics and find the chords. And so, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes technology does work in our favor. They have another song for us. I think I should play a Gibson Brothers song, my favorite, uh, favorite bluegrass band. But they're not the twangy old time kind. such a pleasure having you Thanks, here. Uh, I'm glad you came in to, yeah. to share your, your music right. with everyone. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I'll see you again next time on Creative Connections. so quickly Time just slips away But tomorrow brings a brighter day Bright
riding on a shooting star Heading out toward a dream Tomorrow's even closer than it seems